Howdy, y'all. Been a while since I posted a video. Took some time off, went up to the 406 area code and did my biannual flight review, did my basic medical, so I am clear to fly again. Uh, so that kind of took, took a little bit of time away from the build. Um, but I'm back here down in Austin doing my build. We're finally wrapping up the rudder. Um, here all I'm doing is getting my rivets and I'm going to start working on the trailing edge. Uh, what I found out was I was originally planning to use the Cleveland Brown squeezer set for the AEX edge. Uh, problem I had with that is it liked to, as I squeezed, it wanted to slip off the rivet, and I wasn't happy with the results. So what I ended up doing was going and ordering what's called a suicide set from uh, Brown Tools. Uh, I was much happier with the results, and then I just used a piece of a uh, angled steel that's there on the edge of the bench as my backer plate and I just back riveted. Uh, what Chris and I figured out is that you know to prevent me from hopping around possibly damaging the rudder what we ended up doing was we made a piece of metal that will hold, hold the rivet set where I, or where I want it. This is kind of what it looks like down here in the lower left corner. It's basically just holes a little bit bigger than the rivet set but uh, narrow enough to fit between the rivets so I use that as just to kind of hold the uh, rivet gun in place over the rivet and pound it away it worked really, really well didn't have it have to worry about the rivet gun hopping around denting the wing and I just went down went to town back riveting using the uh, angle steel for my backing plate and really quick um, I liked it a lot better than trying to use the Cleveland tools squeezer set um, and got really good results uh, using this little tool we we worked up the process went really really well and then the next thing I went to do was to roll the leading edge what I ended up, ended up doing was using a PVC pipe I used a three-quarter for the part of the skin near the top end of the rudder. Here you can see what Vans is having you do, basically tape it and roll it. Um, by me holding it down against the bench and Chris rolling the skin using the leverage of my little handy dandy PVC tool, uh, went really well and we could kind of control the uh, how much force we put on it. All I had to really do is hold the pipe against the skin against the bench. Until we just continue to work through each each section of the skin, you know, taping it in place, rolling it, taping it in place, rolling it, uh, with me giving instructions to Chris on how much I wanted him to twist the pipe as we rolled the skin into place, and then, you know, once we got things bent, we went and measured. Um, Per the template the, the plans have you use three little templates to measure the bend in certain locations um, rather than just using a paper template what I ended up doing was printing out the templates from the USB plans and then I glued those to a piece of wood and then I cut the wood to the shape of the template so I had a nice sturdy template to hold up against my skin to check the spacing and so we kind of flip back and forth. You can see me there measuring with these little templates. You can see here, see them here in the lower left corner. But I just took the template, cut it out, or glued it to a piece of wood, and used that used the quarter inch piece of wood with the template on it to do my measurements. You know, we just went back and forth and it worked it until we got the templates to fit right and that everything was nice and good. Much better than just trying to use a piece of paper. And here we just continue to work our way through. As we got down near the base of the rudder, um, I found that uh, one inch PVC worked better for the bottom. Three quarter, when you're up near the top, gave you a better results 
as I work to roll that skin up. You see me there checking. I also use, was using uh, Gorilla Tape duct tape to do it. That stuff just really sticks and holds up and does a really good job of it. You know, just take your time. This took took quite a while. It took longer than I expected, but we went slow, careful, communicated, and kept checking on how things were lining up and how things were fitting. And with the little PVC handles, we had really good control of uh, the bend and the roll of the skin. And then having Chris kind of hold the skins that line up the holes, I could get the Calicos in. So as we finished up the rolls, we just clicked it all together. So it was kind of doing the last two steps together. Just doing some final final adjustments to make sure the template fit right with the roll that we had. No need to rush. The other thing I found is that when you're taping to the skin, give yourself about a half inch onto the skin. And it gave me a little bit better roll. I started off with just a quarter inch onto the skin. That wasn't quite enough to get the bends right. So going a half inch or, or more of tape on the skin, uh, really got the bends right and got it to fit the templates better. But yeah, here we're using the one inch pipe, on, like I said, on the lower section of it gave, gave the better results. The three quarters in the upper, one inch in the lower, everything worked great. Glad I made two of those tools because the plan say use three quarter or one inch, so I just made tools for both. And just continue to work because we didn't want uh, any stress in this joint when we when I went to rivet it together. And having somebody there to just kind of hold the skins together while I got the cleat goes into the holes lined up, kind of helps. Extra, extra set of hands is good. Then here I'm just doing the final pop riveting of the skins together. Once again, pop riveting easy. Stick it in, squeeze handle, stick it in, squeeze handle. You can see the fan going in the background. It's starting to get hot down here in Texas. But this is the final step in section seven. So tomorrow I hope to be moving on to section eight. Getting really close to pulling the trigger and ordering the quick build wings and the quick build fuselage. Uh, with one year lead times, currently looking at vans, I kind of want to get them on order. At least get in the queue. So at some point, I might actually have a plane. And I'm getting the last few pop rivets in. So I hope you like what I'm doing. If you do, like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications. You know, leave comments below. Love to hear from you. I'll try to reply if you got any questions. There it is. All done. Thanks, everybody. Bye.